Hey guys, what's up? So today I am working on some of the van. Uh, before I sell it, I wanted to obviously give the person I'm selling it to the buyer the best van possible. I wanted to offer any upgrades that she wanted to do to it. I offered to paint anything. I offered to deliver it for free. I offered all these things and she obviously took advantage of it. Um, I'm, that's a joke. I, uh, I offered it so I was more than willing to do it for her. So one of the things that she wanted to do is that she wanted to add a bookshelf in here. Kind of went not back and forth with each other. We're trying to brainstorm and trying to figure out the best place for a work, uh, bookshelf. Offered to take the TV out and put a bookshelf in there for her, but she said she wanted to keep it. So she asked if she could put a bookshelf underneath. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, stay tuned for that and here we go. All right, if you guys are new to the page, consider subscribing. What I do here is I live in a tiny home on wheels that I call Ghost. I do sometimes videos like this where I show builds or I'll show upgrades on my build, but I also do a vlog every now and again on really van life and van living and things like that. And I'm a stand-up comedian and I will be doing a vlog on behind the scenes of a stand-up comic on the road while I'm living in my tiny home. Whew, that's a lot. Also coming up for the people that have watched my channel a lot, you'll know that I'm doing a new build, Ghost 2, or I'll just call it ghost will hopefully start in may possibly june the latest uh, i got a lot going on with that i'm still trying to figure out a lot of things so if you're watching the if you're watching this after that go check out total documentation of ghost 2. my style is very vlog very hands-on very real so even if i do tours uh it is very very vlog style i try and sh like bring the audience in with us to try and be very realistic i talk to the people that i'm touring so I'm really, I'm very real with everybody. Today we're gonna to be doing uh, the install of a bookshelf. I already bought the wood at Home Depot. I got like a common board. Uh, the size of it is a one by 10 and it's six feet long. One by 10 means it, honestly, the actual dimensions is like three quarter inch thickness and it's about nine and a quarter inch in depth. So that's gonna come out to uh, about here-ish and I'm gonna put a lip on there. And because we're in a van and we need to make sure that when you put books up here or anything up on this shelf that it doesn't come off, I bought this off of Amazon, which is a bungee cord. It is a eighth inch thickness. It's gonna be interesting on how I do that. I haven't done that before, but I have an idea on what I wanna do on how I'm going to string that up. The shelf is going to be here. I'm gonna have uh, it you know, capped off here and it's going to be right up against this wall here. I have to go below my switches and my fuse box, which is back here as well. I'm going to time lapse the whole thing and hopefully it comes out okay. I have no idea. We'll see.
right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, wow. Uh, it took me a lot longer than I wanted it to. I had like four phone calls I had to deal with. You just got to kind of, you know, expect things like that to come up throughout your day. So, unfortunately, I was here for about five hours instead of two. Maybe what you guys saw in the time lapse, I don't know. Um, I wanted to put this bookshelf here, but I wanted it as secure as possible. Uh, I put it at this height a little bit lower than I wanted to, and I'll show you that reason right now. Because of that right there, which uh, I wanted the lip to be underneath the switches right here. So I still have access to my switches. You know, the lip obviously can hold, and then this can hold enough weight with ease. It is supported from that right there, and it is also supported from this underneath. And I have I have some screws coming in off the side that will hold it in as well. So this should hold enough weight uh, that she wants to put on here as a bookshelf. Uh, if needed, I can also put another uh, cleat underneath here that will be able to hold it as well. Bungee cord that I used, and it should just keep it from the, the books pretty much falling out as if she does stack them or whatever it may be or put something in there. Uh, you don't want it falling while you're driving because you got to think about that when you do this. All right, guys. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'm sweating. I need to go and uh, actually, I'm gonna go do a workout and go to the gym. So I'll see you guys later.